everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and in this video, we're gonna say goodbye to an old friend, to the Squire Bullet Mustang. Um, this thing has been a big part of this channel for a couple of years now. I took it on a refinishing journey, meaning that I just took all the paint off and then I started attacking it with paint pins. Uh, I've stuck with this gold star kind of motif for a few years now. Um, what happened is I got an offer from someone. Someone hit me up and they're like, hey, would you ever sell that thing? I was like, well, it's kind of, you know, an important part of the channel. It's kind of like a central point of reference whenever I talk about a really cheap guitar that I love. Um, but I don't know, make an offer. And they made an offer and I accepted it. We hashed out the details. Um, kind of my thought process is I need space around here. I can't, you know, hang on to sacred cows forever. Uh, I'm hoping to get as much of the new Squire line that's going to come out, that's been teased, that's been leaked, as possible. I'd, I'd love to get them all. And maybe I'll take those on similar modding journeys as I did with this. But I can't keep everything is part of the problem of having a channel like this. There are channels that do keep everything and they have barns and storage units just stacked full of guitars and pedals and whatnot. I, I can't do that. So I got a generous offer. I accepted it. Um, I'm assuming it's going to a fan. Someone who wants the guitar because of its association with the channel or they just see that finish and they're like, that's exactly what I want. I don't care if it's home done looking. I don't care how sloppy it is. They see this and they want this exact guitar. I'm a, I'm a little bit, you know, perplexed by that, but I'm also kind of honored in a way. Uh, at its core, this guitar is still bone stock. Even though I refinished it and put a kill switch in there, original pickups. Uh, I had a Noatronic expression system in here. I took that out, so it's stock now, as far as the wiring goes. I haven't changed anything on it that's important, you know? The tuners are still the same, and this is still a wonderful guitar. Uh, I am I honestly thought along the lines of, well, if I miss it, I can just buy another one, <laughs> and I can refinish that one too, and continue the process that way. Um, but I don't know, we'll see what the future holds for me in the Squire Bolt Mustang. I could always get another one, right? And I can always redo the finish. It's not like I was actually committed to this finish forever. I was honestly thinking about refinishing it anyways. <laughs> and starting out with a fresh one would be easier. Because I'd be starting out, you know, going over a pre-existing finish. And I've got tons and tons of these kill switches here. Just a quick dig around reveals five that I have in my drawer. I know I've got more than that too. So anyways, I wanna do the kind thing and I wanna throw a fresh set of strings on this guitar before I ship it out. So let's do that. And then maybe I'll play it a little bit and give it a nice send off. I'm going to use uh, one of my last sets of <laughs> Gear Supply company strings for this. Uh, it's a company that used to sponsor the podcast and then embarrassingly went under and still took money from people without delivering product. So it's an embarrassing chapter in the life of uh, this channel. It's not like we can know what's going to happen or not happen with companies that choose to sponsor us over the years. There's no way for us to know the inner workings of any company. But I still really hate to see people get taken advantage of. This is a set of 11s, by the way. I like to put heavier strings, slightly heavier anyways, on shorter scale guitars. Just because it they uh, you know, they can take them. You still get a you get uh, the heavy string with less tension with a shorter scale guitar. All 
All right, it's got strings on it. I feel like I should wire up a few fun pedals and uh, just get kind of noodly with this thing. Get it up to tune. I'm not totally sure what my plan was when I grabbed these pedals. I knew I wanted to spend some more time with the ages here because that just came out and I think it's a bunch of fun. I've been thinking about the Tysco distortion a lot. I haven't used a true spring in forever and I want, you know, a drippy reverb in the mix. And then the Fernwa from Jupiter Effects, a crazy delay. This thing needs some sort of crazy delay to hit. All I need to do is tune it up. It really is like just the king of the cheap guitars. I got this thing for like 150 out the door. I think they're like 170 new now. They had to bump the price a bit. And you just get a really fun playable guitar. I've never felt the need to swap out the pickups for any reason. I mean, if you wanted a more specific sound, then yeah, you can do that. But as far as cheap pickups go, they sound, they found, they sound fine. Especially if you're doing like distortion and fuzz and stuff like that, who cares? All right, let's uh, let's have some fun with some of these pedals. <laughs> make them more presentable. Make my life a little bit easier in editing. Man, listen to that sag when I'm hitting it with the boost, with the more boost all the way up on there.
that's too cool. Ah, uh, fresh strings means fresh tune. noodling.
I know that was some sloppy playing. And I really got into the weeds there for a while. But, yeah, this... The Bolt Mustang is just a fun guitar. I'm a little sad to see it go. But I'm happy that, you know, someone who wants it, who seems to really want it, is getting it. Um, I'm excited about, you know opportunities opening up for this channel in the future for me to do more fun stuff with more guitars and uh, I don't have to rest on my laurels I don't have to sit on the same guitars all the time I can keep moving and keep making more content and keep exploring you know the side of this that I've enjoyed since before I had this channel the hobby side of refinishing guitars and doing dumb stuff drilling holes and things putting switches and things swapping things out um, I don't want to rest on having sacred cows around here. I want to I want to keep moving. I want to keep making new stuff. And so hopefully this goes into hands that have, you know, the same mentality who want to keep making new stuff and this will help them in their journey. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Uh, buy shirts, you know, do all the stuff or just keep watching videos. Smash the bell. <laughs> you know, all the things that, you know, YouTube content creators beg you to do. Just do them. You don't need me to ask. So anyways, I'm going to pack this thing up and uh, ship it out and do my final goodbye. All right. Bye, everybody. The suspense is killing me. I think I've opened it upside down.